What's up guys, Dawn D 605 here, and today I'm back with another Pretendo Network tutorial video. Recently, I discovered how you can actually uh, install Pretendo Network on a base PS uh, or uh, 3DS with uh, custom firmware on it. Now, play in the Pretendo Network developers have actually made it a lot easier to actually install this custom firmware through straight up homebrew enabled uh, like updaters. That allow you to basically just download software directly on the P the 3ds 3D 3ds without having to worry about modifying files, which actually seems really interesting because that's what we're going to cover in today's video and how to actually do it. Also, big thanks to uh, the response to you guys on the uh, last video. I really expect did not expect that in the last video, but always thank you guys for watching these videos. And uh, always, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll be checking that like right down below. But without further ado, let's get straight into it. So what you want to do is you want to go on uh, the internet and search up 3DS Homebrew Updater. If you haven't already installed it, it'll say Universal Updater by the Universal Team, which is the uh, official off, uh, CIA file from the, uh, the custom firmware developers. That actually, it's, or actually, no, not the custom firmware developers, the app developers. Basically, what this does is you can actually either scan the QR code here, or you can download the 3DS XX file or the CIA. I prefer both just to be precise. So it'll look like something like this if you've done it correctly. Now, let's navigate to the uh, files of all things. Oh, and keep in mind, before you actually install uh, install the when you're installing the P uh, the 3DS uh, Homebrew up in Universal up there, make sure to put it on your 3DS uh, uh, folder or any folder that's identified by the uh, Homebrew launcher, because this will allow you to install the Homebrew updater. All right, let's get into it. So as you can see right here, if I actually uh, turn down my brightness a little bit, you can actually see it more clearly. So if you go to here. Navigate to where it'll show the homebrew updater uh, Right here. It'll look like this if you've done something if you've done everything correctly If you haven't done everything correctly, I rec if you or if you haven't installed the uh, CI uh, 3ds X, X file or CIA file both of them I recommend going to the homebrew launcher if you don't see it in your home menu and your homebrew launcher right there um, this is actually a, a really useful exploit that allows you to like download homebrew software that comes in really handy. And what you'll do is you scroll down until you see is it in this one. No, it does not look like it. So I'm gonna have to actually. You find another uh, uh, folder that has it, or I might have to actually maybe just launch it straight up from the 3DS menu. Yeah, because there, there's a thing where uh, sometimes the homebrew launcher doesn't detect it, maybe. I don't know. But the simple 3DS homebrew updater by Universal Team. You open it, and it should uh, update the scripts if you have an internet connection. Keep in mind, you do need an internet connection to run this stuff in order to actually even download any of this in the first place. So update the sprite sheet. This will uh, basically just cache this stuff as you go along. And boom, you're literally in the actual homebrew store. Now, what you want to do is if you see anything that you're interested in, go for it. But also, what I, we're interested in is installing Pretendo Network. Did they take it off the store or something? Oh no, I just passed through it. That's 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 fine. So as you can see, it's right here, and you press A, and you download it. Now there's two ways you can install this: one through a 3ds XX file, through or two through a CIA. Um. I personally don't have to do this because I've already got installed, but you can do either one that suits your fancy.
Then once you got that installed, you basically go to the Nimbus Portendo Account Manager. And then it has two modes. You'll either have Nintendo or Portendo. I'm going to select Portendo. And you'll wonder why I'm actually loading this again. Well, because I can. But the most important part about it is that the servers are working again. Shortly after I made that video, actually, there was actually an issue with the servers or something. I'm not sure what was happening, but it must have been that people were getting like a service was discontinued message. So that's kind of fixed now. All right, this time it should connect. And there you go, you're literally on the Portendo Network servers. This is not stored Nintendo Network's bands history, so you won't be banned on this one at this point. So it's like Nintendo servers, you break the rules, you get banned for, well, depends on how strict they are actually, I don't know how that works with them. I know how Nintendo is though. They just ban you straight off the get go. So, hopefully, uh, this tutorial has actually helped out you guys a lot in, in this today's video. Uh, hopefully, uh, as as I mentioned earlier, the closure of Nintendo Network is coming to the close uh, closure of a uh, close shave at this point, if you will. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh. Thanks guys for watching this video, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and thanks for supporting our channel. Peace out. Bye.